For the past week, I bought and used HelloFresh, incorporating it into my diet and into my daily life. This video is going to be a recount of all the good and bad experiences I have had this week. Overall, I think that this is a really good service, but it is not designed for everyone. There are certain compromises that you do have to make, and if you can accept these compromises, it can be very, very good. But alternatively, if you think these are deal breakers, it's not for you. If you don't know how HelloFresh works, here is a very short summary. HelloFresh is a weekly subscription service which allows you to choose ingredients for various different preset recipes on their website, which then gets delivered straight to your door. You then get the ability to make these recipes and then have them to eat obviously. You can choose how many portions of each meal you get or how many different recipes you get by choosing how many people are in your household and how many portions you would like for that week. There are a wide different variety of recipes to choose from so if you have a certain dietary requirement you can more likely than not find something that would fit you. You have the option to add sides to your order for that week and you also have the ability to cancel the subscription whenever you feel like. I do sound a bit like I'm advertising it, but I promise this is not sponsored. I spent my own money on this and I am reviewing it out of my own volition. My overall experience using the product was relatively good. I chose recipes which were mainly rice based as well as recipes which had shorter cooking times because I don't really want to spend a lot of time cooking and I also don't have a lot of time to cook when I come back home in the evenings. My food package arrived a few days after I started the subscription service and it arrived exactly on time. I got a little notification saying when I would get it and it arrived bang on that time and then I got everything that I was expecting in the box. In my particular box, I got a number of things. I got the recipe cards for the four different meals that I ordered during the week, some moisturizing cream, which was a little bit strange because I wasn't expecting it until I learned that HelloFresh likes to add freebies in their boxes each week and I just so happened to pick a week where they gave moisturizing cream as one of the freebies. I then got the four bags of different ingredients and then one large bag with all of the different cold ingredients in. This bag had a lot of insulation as well as a ice pack inside so if I wasn't able to get my delivery on time or let's say I wasn't in and the box was just left outside my home I would be able to come back later during the day and know that all of what was inside was still fresh and safe to eat. Let's start off by talking about the advantages and the good things that I noticed about using this service. The biggest one and the most important one that I think everyone should understand is that this is a massive time saver. I didn't have to choose what recipes that I was going to make. I didn't have to go to the supermarket to go and get the ingredients. I didn't have to think about how I was going to make them. I didn't have to worry about portioning them or making sure that I had to measure out ingredients during prep. It was all done for me. I just had to open the box, follow the recipe, and then bam, I can throw all the rubbish away. I've got food to eat that evening. It was amazing to be able to go into my kitchen, just grab a few things. 25 minutes later, I have got some food to eat. I should say that the specific meal kits I got were designed for two people. So for each of the bags that I got, they had two portions for each recipe. So I ended up using one portion for my dinner and then another portion saved for the following day to have for lunch, which then obviously saved me more time making lunch the following day, which means the only thing I had to really think about this week was breakfast, which was very, very nice. Let's now talk about the actual food and quality. Overall, I was pleased with the food. I had a look at the ingredients as I was going through each of the recipes and even though they weren't the absolute highest premium grade quality ingredients, they were still good and the recipes that I could have chosen from for that week were varied. 
it was incredible to see the variety of things that I could have made that week and the things that I could have tried out. I like having the ability to have various different options because I like having a varied diet. I'm a person who is trying to lose weight and who is very conscious about the fact that I don't wanna be eating the same thing every single day. I wanna be trying out new things, but also knowing that it will fit into my nice diet and it will be healthy for me. And I was happy with how HelloFresh presented itself and the options available to me. As previously mentioned, in the box, you get recipe cards for each of the recipes. On one side of the recipe card, you have a picture of what the actual food will look like at the end, as well as some of the ingredients. And on the back, you have all of the nutritional information, as well as any uh, list of utensils or other ingredients that are not included, such as salt or pepper or butter. It depends on the recipe, but there are very few things that aren't included, which you will most likely have in your home. The recipes are almost always between six and eight steps, so they are super, super easy to follow. And if you only want to try out the service once, you get to keep the recipe cards afterwards. So if you want to try and make something again, you've just got it in your kitchen all the time. You can try again and follow the recipe and you can make yourself something even though you're not using the service. Personally, if you're on a diet, I found the nutritional information very useful because it allowed me to calculate what I was going to have for the rest of the day and how I can plan my other meals accordingly. Alongside all of the things you get in the box, there is one thing you get that is not in the box and that is the HelloFresh app. There isn't much to say about the HelloFresh app, it's just a sort of portal where you can access the various different recipes that you've ordered that week, as well as access the uh, like option slider to choose what you want for the following weeks. But a little nicety which I noted was that if you go into the recipes, you can actually see a list of timers for all of the recipes that you've chosen. So instead of going into your phone and choosing separate timers for each of the things that you need to wait for, you've got all of the timers in one place. You can just press a button and make sure that as you're going along that recipe, you are doing everything accurately. If you don't want to use the recipe cards as well, it's all in the app, so if you don't want to get the recipe cards messy because they're made of paper and kitchens are inherently messy, then you can just use your phone or an iPad or whatever and just have it just on a nice screen, which I prefer to do sometimes. Now, I want to move on to something which is more of a company claim, which I wanted to evaluate myself, and that's the improved environmental impact by reducing the amount of like waste packaging that you get. I thought that throughout the recipes, there was a lot of stuff that I was throwing away. There was a lot of plastic involved and there was a lot of like paper with like plastic um, covered in interiors. So I thought that it wasn't that environmentally friendly, but then comparing it to a normal week of grocery shopping for me, there was indeed far less that I was throwing out. So. Overall, I'm going to put the environmental impact in the advantages side because for me personally, it was an improvement on the amount of stuff that I was throwing away each day. Now this section is probably the most important section in the entire video and that is value for money. The whole point of doing or using this service is to make sure that it is a better value for you and trying to assess whether something is good value for money will depend on your individual circumstances. So let's go through the financial side first. Let's start off by talking about the objective financial side. HelloFresh is something which is almost constantly on promotion. And for this week, I managed to get it on promotion. I managed to get my entire week's box for 20 pounds. And in that box, I got eight portions. So if my maths is right, it will cost me £2.50 for each portion that I got during the week, which isn't too bad. If we compare this to the non-discount price, i.e. what you would be paying after all of your promotions has ended, for me, it was £36 a week. So over eight portions, that is £4.50 per 
meal, which is a massive jump up. Now from this, it may be easy to conclude that it is really, really bad value for money. But I cannot say that because value for money has a lot more involved than just finances. Deciding whether this is good value requires you to take in the cost of convenience, the cost of delivery, the cost of variety, and the cost of not thinking. And if that is something which you value more, then it would be a good value. If you don't, it's not. It's as simple as that. For me personally, I really valued the fact that I had the option to try out a variety of different recipes. And for me, that is the biggest driving factor that makes this a good value for money for me. And the last thing I have on my benefits list is actually cooking inspiration. I think trying out these recipes and the reason that it's actually good value for me is because it gives me more inspiration to try out various different recipes. I've got the recipe cards if I want to try and recreate one of the things I have made. But if I just take a step back and look at the variety of things I have now made, I am able to like make changes. I'm able to add things to this recipe. I'm able to see where things could be improved on for me personally. And I think Developing that skill is something which I value a lot and definitely something that goes in the advantages of using this service. Now we come to the part of the video where I talk about the drawbacks and downsides because obviously using HelloFresh isn't perfect. There are compromises to be made and there are downsides. And I'm going to start off the downsides with something which was definitely unacceptable. This should not happen, and when I saw it happening to me, I was very, very angry. For one of the dishes that I made, I believe it was a beef uh, couscous dish. Uh, when I opened the bag to get all my ingredients out, uh, one of the ingredients was a pepper. And when I saw the pepper, I turned it round and saw that it was moldy. Now, obviously, I wasn't going to eat a moldy vegetable, so I threw it away. And the whole premise of that made me very angry because I paid for a company to give me all of the ingredients that I needed to make the recipes for that week. I expected all of the ingredients to be edible. I think that's a fair assumption. And seeing that I no longer had one of the ingredients for my recipe, I was then annoyed because at the final end, when I made my meal, it didn't feel filling at all. It felt like it was missing something, and I know it was missing something. I hope that this is not something that is common, and I hope that I was just an anomaly, but I'm still annoyed that it happened. It shouldn't happen, and I believe HelloFresh should probably check their quality control for their ingredients because this shouldn't happen to anyone else. It is bad, it is poor value for money, and at worst, it is a health hazard. So please, HelloFresh, don't do that. Please improve what you're doing. Moving on to the next downside, and that's portion sizes and satiety, i.e. how full you feel after having the meal. One of the things that I noted consistently was the fact that after the meal, I wasn't entirely full. Now, this can vary from person to person. I'm a type of person who eats slightly larger meals than the average person. So if you eat a relatively normal amount or less, then you probably wouldn't have this problem. But I did, and that is something which slightly bugged me. Now, even though I thought the portion sizes were relatively small and I didn't feel completely full, because I am on a diet and I'm trying to lose weight, seeing the nutritional information and seeing how many calories that each of these portions had, I was relatively content to keep going and continuing because I knew for a fact that all of this had been calculated. If I were to make something similar myself, probably I could get more after the calories, but that is something separate. I'm testing this service for this week. The last little disadvantage drawback I noted, and it's a very small one, almost a nitpick, was some of the ingredients I got 
specifically garlic, was a shared item between the recipes. I ended up getting one bulb of garlic for the eight portions, which I thought wasn't enough. I felt like of all the things to try and save on for the company to try and make a profit, I thought maybe a little bit more garlic would have been appropriate. But for the rest of the ingredients I got, they were relatively okay. Now we come to the conclusion, would I actually recommend this? And I've spent a few days trying to think about all of the benefits, all of the drawbacks, all of the things that I did, I learnt, and I was annoyed at this week. And overall, I would recommend it. I think the uh, moldy food was unacceptable, and I stand by that that should never happen, but hoping that doesn't happen again, and is not a common thing, I am more than happy to recommend this. I had a great time using the service. It was really fun to try and cook all of these different recipes. I had a good time trying out the different techniques that I don't usually use when I'm cooking, and I like trying out all of the different recipes. I don't make a lot of varied stuff, and it was nice to try stuff out this week. And I have already got another box for the following week. If you would like to try out HelloFresh for yourself, I have a referral link down below, which you can use to get £47 off your first order. So you can try it almost exactly in the same way that I did for this video. If you like this video and wanted me to try out more of these different types of services, please leave comments down below. If you have any questions as well, please feel free to ask me because I'm more than happy to talk about the different things that I experienced in the last week. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.